Hi, I'm Patrick Anderson. And I'm Liv. And this is the Monkey Vlog. Today we're going to sort of just talk about why we're doing this channel and where this channel is going in the next few months. Yeah. Let's get started. So my first video for this channel was back in July and it was right after I converted my reservation to an order for the Mustang Mach-E and I figured I would just sort of document the process of ordering a Mach-E and getting it, making sure it all you know works out and that type of thing. But the more I got into it, the more excited I got about the Mach-E, the more I want to do with this channel. And we've already started. We're doing like day trips in the Mach-E. We're going to do some range tests. We're going to do some charging test, but we're also just going to try to show how the Mach-E is for living with it day to day, commuting and doing everything that you normally do in a crossover or car or whatever you want to call it. Cause that's a big kicker. Like when Patrick originally got into this car and made the YouTube channel, I was like, okay, okay, okay. This is an expensive car. We're not going to get it. But as he learned more and as I learned more and I got more interested in the electric vehicle community and what this is all about. I realized that this technology is the future. This is what is going to happen. This is where cars are going to go. And it's a transition that I'm ready to make. And it's really exciting. And we are very real people. This is our main car. This was a big purchase for us, a big commitment. So we're, we're careful with our money and we want to share all the steps about this, everything about transitioning into electric vehicle life. As well as the high tech features of this car because uh, it has uh, Android Auto capabilities, Apple CarPlay, a lot of, somebody's taking a photo of the car right now. <laughs> uh, um, but anyways, there's a lot of other features besides just that using the navigation system, um, how much stuff can we fit in the back? So we want to cover a lot of different aspects. A lot of times you'll see reviewers, they're focused only on range, only on zero to 60, uh, and only on uh, charging, but there's a lot more to the car than that. So we want to dive into all of those, uh, help you out as well. One of the things that we're going to tackle is the front, uh, front, front trunk divider, and we're going to show you how to remove that. We're going to go through how to protect the paint, whether it's ceramic or some of these other high-tech coatings that are out there. We don't know all the answers, but we're going to try to find the answers. And if you have any comments on stuff that we should do or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. If you have any questions for us, ask us. We'll try to figure it out. We have Android and Apple, so we can play with both of those. If you have questions about the navigation system, intelligent cruise control, we want to spend one video just diving into the like parking system, one into intelligent cruise control, all of that good stuff. So we're gonna be covering a lot. There's a lot to cover and we're excited. I hope you are too. And I think, uh, cause when we first saw this car at the LA Auto Show, the thing that stood out about it was that it is an SUV. And I understand it's a lot lower, but it still drives like an SUV to me. And the reason that was so important is because I'm looking for my unicorn. I wanted something that could do everything. And I feel like we have that here. There are definitely other cars on the market that do as well. And we want to compare to them. We want to try as many other electric vehicles as we can, learn about the new technology as we go and compare them to the car that we've invested so much of our, our money and enthusiasm into. But we realistically do want to keep an eye on what else is going on. And I know not everyone necessarily needs an SUV, but I have a recumbent trike. I liked a whole lot of stuff. I have a very large hula hoop in the back. To me, that's something that's important. And this car definitely covers a lot of bases for me. Yeah. And we're going to keep track of the cost yeah. and efficiency and the range and all of those other good numbers. So if you're interested in numbers, we're going to try to track all of that as well. Um, whether it's tires or windshield wiper fluid, we're going to track all of that just so that we can get a nice cost of ownership and compare to what an ICE car might cost. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when we do release new videos. We're hoping to average about one a week. Depends on how that goes. We have full-time jobs, so it's, it could be difficult to get enough time to video and edit and do all of that good stuff. But we're excited and I hope that uh, you 
do choose to subscribe, do choose to hit the notification bell because we want everybody to come along with us and experience this as well. Everyone that walks by is looking at the car. It's really fun. Yeah. We're currently actually shooting a video. This is our first weekend with the car. We are sitting in River North Rhino in Denver, Colorado, and we are in front of a beautiful mural that we found. And it's in a very secluded alleyway and everyone who walks by is looking at the car. And that's been a really weird transition just on its own is having something that's so eye catching because we got this because we like to look at it. This color yeah. is beautiful, but obviously everyone else likes to look at that too. So that's been a weird thing. But um, as Patrick said, we have full time jobs. We haven't been able to get out in this car, even though we got it on Tuesday. It's uh, Sunday right now, and this is the first chunk of time we've been able to drive it. So we're very real people who invested our real money in this, and we are constrained by real life. But by that same token, we know so many of you are too. So if you have real life questions about this car, that's what we want to answer. I know it's been weird because we've actually been working remotely for a year and we used to commute 40 miles a day. It was about 50 total. 50, 50 total. We would drive together to my work and then Patrick would take the car and drive to his work. And this was my old rickety 98 RAV4 art car that we'll show you guys uh, so he was driving a Subaru WRX, which is a manual. I could not drive that as an amputee driving with my left leg. So um, a big thing about this car was that it's something that we can both drive. I'm not comfortable driving it yet, but we'll get there. But it's been a, a weird year, of course, not having to commute to work. And the main places that we have been going really over the summer last year were car concerts in my car which is why as we've shown you it was decorated kind of crazily yeah and it still is it still is yeah but even though we weren't driving a car to work every day the car became something different it became a protective space for us a way that we could go out in the world and have our masks and our hand sanitizer or whatever but like still be able to go out in the world and have our protected space because some of the car concerts that we went to you would sit in your car and experience a concert like our favorite band itchio and they interact with the car and shake the car around and stuff like that and you're you're inside and you have to stay in your car for the whole show and who knows maybe that's there'll be more of those this year um, I know things, we're hoping everything returns to a more normal state, but I think we're going to be in a transition period this year. Um, and that's why we're excited to have this car. It's like, uh, we're hoping to be able to do some road trips. Somebody's walking by. Uh, and enjoy getting out a bit more like we've already done uh, yesterday. We're doing today, getting out. And this is sort of like our little safe bubble we can get in and we can take our mask off and relax for a bit. Um, so we're hoping to do a lot more of that, and this car gives us that opportunity, and we're very privileged to be able to do that. So Truly. very thankful that we can do all of this stuff this year. Truly. We know that it's an incredible privilege to be able to get a vehicle like this, and uh, part of documenting this experience and sharing it with you guys is that this technology is also in its infancy. So obviously electric vehicles have been out for a while, but the charging network that we're going to be using is still in its infancy. There are a lot of things about transitioning to electric life <laughs> that is challenging. And I personally am interested in making this easy and simple for myself. And I'd love to share that with you guys too, because it can be very daunting and it doesn't need to be. And, and not just daunting in the technology and learning all the terminology and, and all of this, but also what like previously we've done a road trip to Vegas from Colorado from Denver and it took 11 hours but now we might not be able to do that in one day because it might take 16 hours with charging and any complications that happen so that's something that we want to document and share too so that uh, getting used to this life is easier for you so that we'll be the guinea pigs and go do that Vegas trip and maybe have some issues and and you can hopefully avoid them and learn from our mistakes hopefully we're won't make any but we'll see there's always going to be hiccups and we'll document those and it'll be a lot of fun so i think that's all i have for now i'm ready to go explore make some videos and hopefully entice you to uh 
jump in the back seat, sort of, virtually with <laughs> us and uh, have some fun. Yeah, join the electric life. If you are driving EVs right now, share what you drive down below. If you wish you could, let us know what you'd love to drive. If you have any questions, leave them here and stick around and subscribe too. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>